Hello all and greetings from the studio. Um, some of you have been asking how I uh, prepare my canvas. You know, how do I get the the uh, outline onto onto it? Right. So basically, what I do, I start off by taking my own photos generally, or I I source out um, a nice photographer who. Well, I enjoy his work or her work, uh, approach them and get permission to use them and then I'll um, send them a um, high resolution scan in exchange for allowing me to use it. So anyway, so if I've got my own photo, well, the first thing what I do is actually enlarge it um, to A3. Now, to the right of me, I don't think you'll be able to see it, I've got an Epsom WF760 7620 um, all-in-one printer. So basically, I, en I enlarge the... well, I don't generally enlarge because the image will be a lot bigger than A3 because I take, I take uh, um, high-quality pictures. Um, but basically what I do, um, I will print A3 and I always print two copies um, one copy um, I use f in the process the other copy stays on my drawing board next to my canvas for reference now I always use normal paper I don't print on gloss because it's too expensive and use too much ink even if you are using compatibles and I do use compatible links right um, so the next step is then to actually um, put your black your blank canvas onto your surface it's probably best if you've got it flat but I tend to do it at an angle as well because I know what I'm doing and basically what I do I've got a piece, I get a piece of carbon paper and the carbon paper gets put, gets stuck with onto the canvas by using four bits of tape, one on each corner. It also sticks it, uh, makes sure it's stuck over the canvas and onto the drawing board so that it doesn't move. The next step is to get your image like so and to um, place that over the carbon paper again a bit of paper um, a bit of masking tape to stick it down in all four corners then what I'll do is actually get a ballpoint pen and I actually draw over the outlines this will then transfer the image onto the canvas. Using this particular carbon paper, it do, the the actual drawing doesn't smudge. I have got other methods. I'll tell you about that in a minute. But as far as this one goes, that that is the quickest way of getting an accurate represent represent I can't get my words out, folks. <laughs> it. Oh, I'm all gone, I'm all gone there. Um, it's the best way of getting it across. Representation. Sorry, I don't know what's wrong with me today. <laughs> anyway, anyway, that's the easiest way. Then once you've obviously got the outline on, if you are somebody who enjoys painting like myself, I should state that I did start off as a... Um, I used to just draw and that's all I did and, and I wouldn't use tracing back in those days uh, but but then I didn't use to paint and since then I've I've enjoyed my painting so basically that's what happens that's how I get the image on now if I've for instance ran out of this carbon paper or the um, trace down paper what I sometimes have used in the past which is very expensive um, I may actually cut the image out 
and tra and then trace around it. But when you got a a, de a very detailed image like this, it's just not you can't do that. Right, so there's two ways. Um, the other, obviously, you, you could just draw it straight on, but uh, there's no guarantees you go and get it all in proportion and and get what you want. Um, it probably wouldn't matter so much with an image like this because you could make things up. Um, but if you're doing an animal or a person or something like that, I don't do people. Um, it needs to be smack on. And there is ways of enlarging using uh, frames and um, all sorts of methods using a grid method. I've used them all in the past. But as I say, I enjoy painting. For me, this is the best way. Um, and it's worked for the past year, to be honest. Um, and uh, all the fun for me. Because I, it comes in taking the actual picture in the first place. A lot of people don't do that part of the process, but, but I like to do that. And then obviously when it comes to painting, you can then play around with the colours. You don't have to have, you, could, you don't necessarily have to do this in red. You could do it in another colour, other colours. <coughs> Makes it a bit more awkward because you've got to... You've got to think about all the different shades. Now I know looking at this, it's not very the colours are not very good. So the other thing to what I also when I'm working at home in the studio, um, what I do, I'll always have a, an image of this of the actual painting you're going to do on the screen because then you can actually see the colours better. The only problem with this is if you go away like I do to um, an art group and you, you're painting and you're only relying on this unless you're taking a laptop with you. So you've got to bear that in mind. Um, especially if you're doing something like an animal because the colour could be quite critical. Um, and it's always going to be dodgy on a printout unless you're using glossy paper, high quality glossy paper. And as I said, I don't do that. So there's all these things to take into account, but I hope I've answered a lot of your questions. I know there's people who will frown upon what I've just said, um, and they'll think, well, you're not a proper artist, but if you look back to the great artists, they all had their methods of transferring. Um, and I don't see a problem with using any of them. Um, in fact, you could also use a projector to project across. And, and in fact, that was used when I was being taught at art co college. There were some students who used them. Um, in fact, I might even have a play around with it because my camcorders have got a projector facility on it so uh, it's something on a dark night when you need to get the lights off um, it's something I could possibly have a go at um, and that will be another uh, video on that um, right well um, have I missed anything I'm not sure I probably have so it's really down to you to uh, ask away and uh, and um, just tell me what your thoughts are. Um, I'm hoping Nigel's watching this and it's answered his questions. Um, I mean, what the, what I've just told you, you, you don't necessarily have to um, trace everything. You could just. If you were just, for instance, using, um, you wanted to produce, say, um, an animal on a landscape, um, then you just just trace. You can just use the tracing method for the animal. The important thing is to be creative and to play around with um, what you're trying to produce, and not to try to produce a photographic image. Unless, of course, you've got a client who, who wants one like that. 
for far too long I've always always looked at trying to copy a photographic image and it and that's probably where I've gone wrong you, you've just got to develop your own style I've kind of developed a, a style now for my backgrounds and I'm sure I'm going to develop styles on everything what I do and what I'm telling you now will probably go out the window in a few years time um, art is it, it's just like many things it's like gardening it's always evolving you're always learning you never know enough and um, and it, the important thing is you're having fun it doesn't matter what other people think if, you, if I'm painting away like I've just told you and um, and I'm enjoying it and it's it's uh, de-stressing me um, that's all that really matters that's what it's all about it's having fun and enjoying it and whatever method you do is 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 right and uh, and you just got to go with that and and don't bother about what other people say you know they'll say oh no that's cheating it doesn't it's not cheating it's just a, a method you could say you could approach them and say well you know where did you get your original idea from your image um, did you use your own photograph or did you get it from somewhere else you know if they say uh, you know that they'd seen something somewhere else well you know they've got their image in their head and they're, all they're doing is transferring it from their head onto the canvas doesn't matter what method you're using you know it's it's obviously obviously if <laughs> It's not really good if you're going to just trace an image and say, oh, I sketched this. No, 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 no. no. Um, <laughs> that's not on it, in my opinion. But um, there's got to be some creativity in it. But, um, but then again, I suppose people who do that, they've probably got their uh, take on it. They'll probably say why they do it that way. And what's to say it's wrong, you know? As I say, if that's what they enjoy doing, then let, let it be. Okay, I think I've been babbling on enough. I, I hope you uh, uh, don't find this too boring and enjoy it. Okay, thanks for watching.